Hey, what's going on, everybody? Just wanted to uh, do a quick update here on my Psycho 410 shotgun. Uh, yesterday, I finally got a uh, red dot for it. Uh, nothing too fancy. Uh, I was pretty happy with the sight mark uh, red dots that I had on my uh, on my two nine millimeter carbines, my uh, masterpiece arms, and uh, my high point carbine nine millimeter. So. I've been real happy with the, the Sightmark uh, optics that look like this one, but this is the True Glow uh, brand. And, uh, you know, they, they make good products, uh, you know, with other type of fiber optic sites and everything, and they're a an known company, so I said I'll take a chance on this inexpensive site. And again, I was pretty happy with the, true, or the Sightmark uh, ones. You know, I have them uh, on both those two guns, and I've been real happy with them. Uh, the, the only real difference that I can tell the difference between this True Glow right here that you see and these sight marks is that the sight marks you can interchange different reticles, you know, different type of crosshairs, and uh, this one is only uh, red dot only. Uh, but you can change either green or red as far as in color. Go ahead and uh, turn it on real quick. And Well, there's the green dot right there, so. Uh, you know, again, I think uh, for something just to have fun with and not something really in self-defense or, or well, not that, but something that you're going to be like soldier out running around in the battlefield, you don't need a high-quality uh, optic. It all depends on, uh, you know, what you're, you're going to do. But for me, I'm just mostly going to be placing around having fun. And uh, so, like again, like I said, I was happy with the other two sites, so I says, why not, you know. Uh, not a lot of recoil with this portion, so it should hold up zero pretty well, and I shouldn't have any problems with this thing. Uh, so I never had the True Glow brain, so I'm going to give it a shot, you know. And uh, But again, like I said, their uh, other True Glow, Glow products are uh, pretty good, like their fiber optic sites for shotguns and everything. And they're a little more known company, so I figured they'd probably make sure, you know, since their name's on it, it's going to be pretty decent for the money. Uh, so, anyways, uh, I know people probably think, uh, you know, why you read that, you know, on a shotgun? And uh, I was on the same, the same boat, basically, as other people when... Like, that's just stupid, but now, after a while, you know, I think it, it will help out in a little bit, you know, in certain scenarios. Um, not really mostly, like, with birdshot or buckshot too much, since it kind of usually tends to spread out way too much, and it's not going to really help out all that much. But for me, um, I'm sighted in those slugs, uh, and then I'll be able to uh, shoot, you know, I'll probably sight it in about 50 yards, and just, that'll be a good... Uh, in my opinion, a good range for slugs for, you know, the kind of shooting I'm going to do. Of course, even the slugs can, you know, go farther than that. be probably accurate and far, way farther than that. But just for what I'm going to do, 50 yards is plenty far for me. Uh, you know, it's not going to be like some kind of sniper rifle, so I don't need uh, to go 100 or 200 yards or more, you know. So uh, I think 50 yards is going to be a good fun range uh, where I don't have to go real far to reset up targets or anything, and uh, but still, I think it'll help out a lot. And uh, so, yeah, I think red nets or um, shotguns are good for uh, for slugs to make them more accurate, especially with this gun. Uh, you know, it's actually pretty crafty, but uh, anyways, uh, and also in close quarters, you know, uh, be at least you can kind of somewhat see the direction the gun's pointing in a dark uh, environment uh, with the red dot. If you don't want to have, uh, say, your, your flashlight showing, uh, then it kind of gives you an idea of where you, your point of aim is somewhat, you know. But, uh, so, I mean, I think, you know, red dots kind of serve a purpose in a shotgun, so that's why I said, you know, I'll be one of the people that have one on there. But, uh, but again, like I said, most situations you probably won't need a red dot on a shotgun, but... Uh, I wanted one on there for slug, so, but anyways. Alright, well, that's the uh, update I got for now, and just another red dot.
So uh, I think it came out pretty good, the conversion, and uh, pretty happy with it so far. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good one.